Transformer fans, once again, it's the one and only Optibotomus coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the absolutely incredible support of all of my Optibotomus Plus channel members, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Studio Series 86 of Dinobot Slug and Daniel Witwicky, as they appeared in the Transformers the Movie 1986 animated film. And I know, people are going to bring up the whole, this is Dinobot Slag, not Slug. And honestly, I don't care about any of that. We all know who this is, so you can call him whatever you want. I'll more than likely just refer to him as Slag, but obviously the new uh, copyrighted name for him is Slug. So, it is what it is. For the package though, uh, much like all the Studio Series figures, you got the Transformers text, you got the Transformers movie logo right down here, gorgeous art of, <laughs> well, that slug slag with the daniel riding around which is eh, yeah, it is what it is up close image here the side here has the 86 logo with his head uh, top section just has that's a stupid i don't understand why they have a window there that makes no sense come around to the back of the package you can see big screen inspired so he comes with his backdrop and of course they really talk about the scale the detail all that fun stuff i'm just thrilled that we're finally getting really good official dinobots First was Grimlock, now we have Slug. And if the rumors are true, we're going to eventually get all of them, which I am super thrilled about. But for the package on this guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we have Dinobot Slug open up out of its packaging and obviously in his Triceratops mode. And I absolutely love this guy. Tell me another Dinobot figure that we've gotten that has so beautifully recreated the way that they always should have looked. I mean, unless you're talking about the G1 Dinobots, in my opinion, these are absolutely the best. Now, starting off first with his accessories. Uh, he does come with Daniel, although... You really can't tell it's Daniel because uh, the face, or what should be the face, is uh, just completely uh, painted. Y you have no way of telling if that's uh, Daniel or, honestly, Spike. It, it could be either. But this is uh, much like that wheelie figure that we got with uh, Grimlock. A definite disappointment. They look great. And it probably would have been a much better figure if they at least molded two pieces here for the leg so that you could have at least a hinge. I mean, it's it's exactly the same problem that we got with Wheelie. It's definitely disappointing. It looks good, completely pointless in my opinion because all you can do is sit them on there. It is a completely new mold. I don't see anything really uh, carried over. The legs are different. Um, I don't well, no, even the little hip connector pieces are, are different. So, it is all completely different. He doesn't rotate, whereas at least Wheelie had a uh, swivel here at the waist. This guy doesn't have anything. So, definitely disappointing. I just... Uh, why why'd you even bother, uh, in my opinion? Uh, he does have some articulation. You have ball joints here for the uh, arms, and then ball joints here... For the hips i'm sure a third party company can come up with replacement legs for this guy and i would more than likely buy him but as it is he sucks this is the guy that is truly spectacular now staying with his accessories he does have one additional one it is his um tail gun uh, i like how they actually have the top section of the gun molded in a way to kind of go along with these other little spikes but it just stores underneath here Wiggle that out. So then, and I mean, that looks perfectly fine. Still, that, I mean, it's a, it's a weird split there, but you know, that's not terrible. Uh, but he does have a gun. Uh, now, a lot of people like complaining about uh, these Dinobots from the 86 line having guns and not swords. It would be great if they had swords. Uh, Grimlock didn't come with one, he came with his gun. Slug here comes with his gun as well. They didn't use their swords in the movie, and this is meant to be based off of the movie. So, makes sense that they would have this. Am I happy with that decision? N not really. I mean, I would really have preferred the uh, sword just because that's a little bit more iconic with these characters, but it's still pretty decent nonetheless. And like you could see, you can plug it up underneath there. Uh, for Slug though, I love this guy. Absolutely love him. Let's do uh, some comparisons first. Here is Grimlock. I think this scale works 
perfectly. It, it just the, the Dinobots should be a little bit larger, obviously, than a lot of the other Autobots. And bringing in some of them, let's bring in uh, the Dinobot, one of the Dinobot creators. Here is Wheeljack. You can see really large. Uh, now, granted, uh, Optimus here is technically a leader class figure, but that just pretty much refers to the fact that he comes with his trailer and stuff. But for the most part, he is a Voyager size figure. But I think that the scale here is absolutely terrific it, it, it fits so well way better than like i said anything that we've ever had previously and it just makes sense you know like you full of cesium salami brilliant i mean it's it's awesome and i truly do hope that the rumors about getting all the dinobots is true i mean we know that sludge is definitely a possibility as well as swoop because those also were in the live action movie. Snarl, unfortunately, kind of got relegated to a deleted scene and never really made it in the movie, but we all know that he's there. So it'd be cool if they can fit him in some way. Overall, the look is fantastic. Great detail all the way throughout him. Great paint on him. You got nice gold elements. Love the color of the eyes here. Very nice metallic blue in there. Of course, you got an Autobot logo right there. And again, people like complaining about some of the color choices, uh, but again, it's meant to look like the cartoon. So this, his frill was not silver. That is a G1 toy sort of thing. And these are meant to replicate the cartoon. And they nailed it, in my opinion. He does have kind of weird back feet. You can see how thin those are. Um, from the side, it's not terribly bad, but it is definitely something that is noticeable. But everything else really does come together very, very nicely. On the guy as you can see you can open his close his mouth i love the fact that his head is up underneath there but you don't really notice it that it stays in there there is a post on the inside um but it's kind of let me see if i can find one of my little blast effects here it's kind of hard to get something in there because it's kind of up towards the top i mean you can do it uh but it's kind of on an angle it's not really flush with things so you could probably do it maybe if i had it let me see i got them all in a little box over here. Uh, and this one's a little bit. No, well, no. Yeah, they all kind of end up going on an angle. So I guess you could kind of do that. Right, let me see. Here, here's a real thin one. But yeah, it's, I mean, it, it doesn't really work all that well. I mean, you can get it in there. It does sit, but like I said, it's there's not a lot of gap right there. So you can't put it in straight uh it's too high up of a post so you do have to kind of do it on an angle which you know that's not terrible i guess you know it's something that you can do if if you choose to do it uh and then yeah as you can see you, you can take this stupid thing and you got the little posts here on the side of them that uh, just plug into these weird crevices in his legs and you can have them riding them around which again who cares about that but now for the transformation let's get going we're going to take these back legs and tuck these up and in just like that on both sides very nicely come around here to the back or uh, side bits you're going to lift that up do that on both sides as well and then you can kind of wiggle these little bits apart and then bring this whole section up just kind of unhinge that get that kind of up and out of the way take these legs you're going to extend these all the way down like so nice ratchet joints right there then you're going to want to rotate him at the waist uh, bring his legs in the proper configuration now you can leave it like this uh, I don't think it looks terrible honestly with these on the side but I do like the fact that they actually engineered a way to hide them again to make it more movie accurate you're going to bring the foot down get that out of the way and then you got a little bar section right here on this side let's see right there lift that up and then bring this around like so bring that back down and that just cleans up the legs uh beautifully uh, again i kind of like that because it does remind me of the old g1 toy uh but hey let's uh be more modern with things and make it look like the cartoon that's fine bring that up and around that tail piece likes flopping around i like taking these and kind of pushing that all the way up just kind of clean it up a little bit more as well do that there then you're going to take this section here well we'll worry about that here in a minute let's bring these arms down 
extend them a little bit at the elbow. You just got like some little swivel things right there. Bring that down. Take this piece, fold that forward. Take this, we're going to separate that from the frill. And then this is going to split out. You got to like double accordion this guy out. Uh, this one on this side gets a little bit stuck on mine. There you go. Bring it all the way and then you can bring these down. And then just kind of line that up a little bit like that. Then you're going to take this entire section and bring this down. Can keep that out? Gives you the space to bring that around. There we go. And then take the head. Pull that up. There we go. Get that up just like that. Keep that collapsed. Bring this up. Locks right there. These little bits uh, just kind of push these back towards that side. Take the entire dinosaur head and bring that down. That will kind of slot in right there. Let's bring these hands out. Rotate these out from the inside and then rotate them around. They will only go in one way, so you do have to do that rotation section. Bring that up. Rotate that. Then come around here, straight on his head. Come around here to the back. You got two little tabs on the back side of his frills that are going to lock in here, so bring that up. Friction's in right there, and then this entire section comes up and collapses up under there. And then bring this up, just sit like that. There we go, keep that like so. Keep those little wings out a little bit. And when you're done, there you have slug or slag, whatever you choose to call them, awesomely displayed in his robot mode. And what was already in ace dinosaur mode we get a robot mode that i feel is even better all the way around this guy just looks wonderful incredibly spot on to his animation look like i said i don't think that there has been a better version of the dinobots than what we've been getting recently and that even kind of applies to the masterpiece even though the only masterpiece one we got was grimlock I still think that that uh, Studio Series one is better. And Slug here just really builds on that. As you can see, uh, he can hold his weapon, obviously. Uh, it is a little bit stubby here um, in the back section. You can see that it kind of cuts off here. But that's mostly because he's got his little uh, dino claws right here. So in order to get it to fit, you had to kind of trim that down. So that makes sense. But let's uh, do some of those comparisons now. So setting him... Right there, first off, let's bring in his fearless leader, Grimlock. And again, gorgeous scale. I said it before, Dinobots should be larger than regular Autobots. And they really are. And you can even see that Grimlock at the head is a little bit taller than Slag here. So, again, that's another aspect that I really think works nicely. Because as the leader of the Dinobots, Grimlock should be taller. And then again, uh, here we have... Optimus Prime, and of course the uh, co-creator, Wheeljack. And again, this scale works amazing. It is, It really is kind of surprising. Looking at this really is quite amazing. I mean, he's literally like twice the size of uh, Wheeljack, which for me, in, in my world, is how it should be. But this looks great. I cannot wait to add the uh, other three Dinobots themselves. Coming in to take a closer look at some of the details. As you can see, the head looks fantastic. It's red all the way around. Good sculpt in there, though, so you can really pick out some of those details. Of course, you got the blue eyes, which carries over from the nice metallic blue eyes that he had in Dino Mode. Gorgeous chest piece here. Uh, these pieces do kind of hang out, or they stick up, I guess. I mean, you could probably fold it like that if you really wanted to and hide it a little bit more. Um, personal preference. I do remember thinking when I first saw this guy that it seemed like... His shoulders were pretty broad, and they definitely are, but I don't think it really looks all that bad in hand. Uh, it was just something that in pictures, it kind of really looked bulky there, but it, it's not bad. But you can see all that great sculpting and detail throughout the entire thing. Great paint in the areas that it needs it. You know, a little black section right down here. You look down here at the little knee sections, and you got those green and blue elements added in there. Of course, you got the feet with the nice gold paint. Even when you come around the back, it cleans up. Really nicely. I mean, he had the wings here, and he, his tail has got to go somewhere, so it just kind of sits there. But uh, it all incorporates pretty nicely. 
It's just literally riddled with uh, molded in detail all the way around. I mean, very, very impressive. Even when you look on the inside, it's like there doesn't need to be molded detail right in there, but they put it there. So, I mean, really quite impressive. Uh, for his articulation, the head does get a little bit tricky. It is on a ball joint, but because it's inside, well, I, I don't know if, yeah, I think it is on a ball joint, but you also have this little hinge section, so it kind of loosely fits in there. It doesn't really lock in, but it doesn't flop around, so I don't mind it really all that much. Shoulders here have ratchet joints moving forward and back. They also go in and out. Again, I love the little gap filler right there. He does rotate at the upper part of the bicep. Does technically have two bends at the elbow. One is mostly designed for the uh, collapsing or the extra collapsing for the dinosaur mode, but it still works. And then again, when you look in here, great detail in the elbow section. Really very, very nice. Uh, the wrists do rotate. I should point that out uh, as kind of part of the transformation so you get a good range of motion with that. He does have a very tight waist swivel, which is nice. Hips move forward and back. Kind of wish that these were done a little bit differently. Um... As it is, it kind of feels like it's not loose, but there's a lot of gap in between the two ratchet sections, so it kind of is a little bit weird. Uh, you do have that rotation, and then you do have uh, two bends here at the knee itself, but again, like this one is a little bit loose. It doesn't really affect anything as long as you kind of angle the legs right. I mean, he stands perfectly fine. It's just, I mean, this one, this one's a little bit tighter, so I wonder if that's just like... A missed joint right there because like that locks in perfectly there this one feels like it doesn't so it, it is what it is and then uh, as uh, usual you do have a nice ankle tilt uh, it doesn't really fill it that uh, a lot of the gap area there but this piece goes along with it so it kind of fills it in i suppose but in general love this guy absolutely love him cannot wait a as i've said time and time again i cannot wait for us to get all the dinobots i as a 80s kid, you know, I love dinosaurs. I love Transformers, and Dinobots were some of my favorite characters. And I, I have wanted amazing representations of those characters for a number of years. And, you know, we got some good ones, um, some not so good ones, but uh, these new Studio Series ones absolutely, in my opinion, take the cake as the best Dinobots that we have ever gotten. Now, first transformation back again. First, we're going to rotate the fists. All the way around and then collapse them up and into the arm section so rotate that around collapse that down and in just like so you can if you want to loosen up all this back stuff it's gonna flop around all over the place anyhow so it doesn't really matter what you do then you want to pull this piece back pull this down like so you can kind of loosen that up a little bit and move these little bits here down to the back just for, for some clearance issues then take the head Bring that down, lock that in, and then bring this entire section up. And that will, again, I like how they do that. You got two different kind of swivel sections up here. And one is a little bit tighter than the other, which works absolutely beautifully. Then we're going to collapse these segments in just like that. Do that on the other side. It is tricky to kind of do because you got that like little double accordion joint right there. So just bring that in like that. And then bring this entire thing, make sure that's centered. And bring that up just like that. These little bits right here, you can connect to the top part of the frill, which works very nicely. Then rotate him here at the waist, just like so. These arms you can bring down and put them in kind of the position they're going to need to be in. But uh, you'll have to fiddle with that here, more than likely in a bit. Come around here to these legs. We're going to take the feet, we're going to fold that down. We're going to lift this little bar piece up and rotate this middle section out and around. Then bring the bar back down, put the foot right there. Do that on this side as well. So bring down the foot, lift the bar, rotate the leg section out. Bring the bar down, set that like that. Now, you want to have these straight and then bring this whole section up and then that second joint right up here, not down here at the lower section, at the upper section, you want to bend that to a 90 degree and then rotate at the other joint all the way around just like so so again on this side can keep that out of the way rotate this up bend first at that upper joint and then bring down the lower section just like that now you have some tabs on the uh underside here of the feet that are going to lock in most of this stuff doesn't really stay locked in uh, very easily right now 
I'm going to have to fiddle with that, but let's see. I don't feel like I have his waist completely rotated straight. You want it straight as much as possible. So bring that there. And literally, you're going to just try to line up all this stuff. So bring this around. This little section here is going to go over these little nubs right there. Uh, this part is a little bit tricky to do. you got little slots and tab sections on the inside of this little tail piece. You have to line those up. And it's tricky to kind of do because uh, you can't really see it. But just kind of sit it in between. There we go. No, no, I thought I had it. And you have to sandwich it. There we go. So that way it's all nice and flush. When you get it, that'll kind of stay locked into place fairly decently. And then you can kind of lock everything else up. So just kind of push these bits down come back down here to the bottom make sure those little tab sections are locked in there then bring this down get that little arm out of the way and this will actually tab in along the side you'll feel it kind of grab so that one did this one nope there we go nice and locked in there make sure again everything stays locked in and then you got little connecting pieces down here as well that lock the tail into place. So now everything is locked in perfectly. You can position these. Like I said, you have to slightly angle those forward for his dino leg. And then this, you're gonna just fold that leg out, that leg out, rotate that uh, back to about that position. Do that on this side as well. Fold that out, fold that out. Perfect. And then if you want to complete the look, where's his gun? Here's his gun. You can take that and then plug that in the underside just to kind of complete the tail. And when you're done, there you have Slug back in his dino mode. And I, like I said, I really do like what they did with this. There are a, a few minor things about him in his dino mode that, um, they're, they're not bad. I mean, I, I think they could have done a, a little bit better with him. Like, mostly this the back feet are just a little bit kind of weird and you're kind of always kind of needing them to leave them like that i mean you can bend it like that but then you get this weird cut here so you, that's why you really need to keep it completely extended like that but you know all in all i think he looks great uh he absolutely nails the look of a giant dinosaur robot thing and as you can see it looks perfect with other figures in this line so without a doubt i would recommend picking this guy up there is not, I can tell you almost right now, there is not going to be a dino bot that I'm not going to recommend. So, spoiler alert, but uh, if you want to add this guy to your collection, uh, let me fix that. Uh, he is now hitting various retail locations, so if you are looking for him, good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, you can do the really simple thing and just go online to places like Big Bad Toy Store or Amazon. For both of those places, I'll put links right down there in the video description. We can go there and check out availability on this guy, as well as the rest of the wide range of Transformer figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Once again, I want to send a huge shout out to all of my Optibotomous Plus channel members, who through their continued support, helped to make reviews like this, and many others, possible. And if you like information on how you can help support my channel by becoming a channel member, where you can get exclusive channel chat and comment emojis, loyalty badges, early access to video reviews, exclusive member live streams, unboxing videos, Zoom calls, access to the Optibotomous Plus only Discord, as well as the occasional giveaways like all these guys do, then please consider becoming a member of Optibotomous Plus. And for that, all you have to do is click on that little join button right down there. And finally, guys, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you all for watching and taking the time to be a kid.